Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 6 preview between the Oakland Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Raiders. Terrell Pryor has the Oakland Raiders going in the right direction, showing what football game plan has always said about him. His football IQ and leadership are off the charts. Now this week versus Kansas City, ball security and staying ahead of the chains are key. The Chiefs have the best defense in the National Football League, and in order to have success, you have to spread the ball around, you have to beat the blitz, you have to capitalize on the big play opportunities in a passing game. The defense of the Raiders is the big surprise, more so than their offense in my opinion, and they have what you would call an active defense. But in their aggressiveness, they tend to give up the big plays on third downs, which could be detrimental versus a team like Kansas City that has the ability to take the air out of the ball and play great ball control offense. The Raiders will have to not only play fast, but protect the sticks. Now let's move over to the Chiefs in this ball game, and Kansas City has done an outstanding job on offense because of their efficiency. This is a well-coached football team that does the little things very well that coaches always preach about. Now versus Oakland and their over-aggressive defense, I look for Andy Reid and company to dial up an assortment of screens to different players, serving as a supplement to the ground game as the Raiders will try to load up to stop the run and take away Jamal Charles. On the defensive side of the football, obviously mission number one is to get pressure on Terrell Pryor, which is why I believe the battery of the Chiefs defense is important. That's the nose tackle, inside linebackers, the safety. So Don Terry Poe, Akeem Jordan, Derek Johnson, and Kendrick Lewis have to have big games. Don Terry Poe, because of the interior pressure, disrupts the spread. Jordan and Johnson are pseudo spies, and Kendrick Lewis for avoiding the trap of peeking in the backfield. And I think all guys, again, have to have success in order for the Chiefs defense to get off the field and put the Raiders away. The Oakland Raiders can have some success this week versus the Kansas City Chiefs in the passing game by putting the safety in a high-low situation and also putting a lot of pressure on the linebackers in underneath coverage. And they have the personnel, they, have the, they also have the one X factor that you can't account for, the mobile quarterback, which tends to dictate how you play defense, especially versus the pass. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put Marcel Reese, Flex, Dan, uh, Michael Rivera here, I love the way he's playing right now as a rookie, put a running back here. We don't know if Darren McFadden is going to be healthy, but whomever the running back is, it's going to have to be right here, Rashad Jennings. You have your receivers out wide, bottom of the numbers. This is key. You want to put the receivers at the bottom of the numbers. Why? It widens out their defense, and it further puts this free safety in the bind. It gives you natural running lanes. It also gives you big windows to throw the football, and we know Terrell Pryor can wing the football anywhere on the football field. So what we're going to do, put a tight end right there, we're going to put the linebackers in the bind. Why? Because we're dragging... Marcel Reese across the formation. You know how well he is as a receiver, um, so he can catch the football, so that's gonna hold the linebackers. You wanna hold the free safety? Send your in route right here. Versus man, you keep going, versus zone, you wanna settle down. And all, this, all of this is off the read option uh, play fake. So we're gonna put the running back in motion, fake the handoff, run him out into the flat. So now it puts either this backer in the bind, strong safety in the bind, and we're running the strong side the, the receiver to the strong side, the Z, he's going to run the street. Again, free safety is going to have to make a choice. Now on the back side, we have a post. So again, free safety either is going to squeeze this route or get over top this post. And right there, it puts your defense in a bind. So the linebackers have to protect themselves versus the underneath crosser. Either going to get underneath this, this in route, they're going to ride this in route, wall it off, and hopefully the free safety is going to squeeze it, or he's going to get over top to the post, or he's going to get over top to the streak so you see where Terrell Pryor has many options on this play and I think if they utilize the read option out of the spread it's going to give these guys a problem if you're the Chiefs so I think the Raiders can have some success creating big plays by utilizing Terrell Pryor's athleticism with the illusion of the read option and also widening out their defense and taking advantage of the individual matchups. The Kansas City Chiefs can also create opportunities in a passing game by utilizing their personnel and also expanding the Raiders coverage. I'm gonna show you how they can do that right here. You see I have Dexter McCluster in the backfield along with Jamal Charles, and we're gonna send Jamal Charles in motion. I'm gonna put him in motion here. Should hopefully, let's say everybody has their responsibilities. They're gonna roll, you know, weak or what have you. Everybody has their responsibility. What can you do versus this situation if you're the Raiders? You see a back motion now, you have to respect him because he can catch the football. So do you 
walk out your back? Do you tip your hand as far as if you're playing man or zone? Or do you sit tight and wait? Does this corner move up to try to get a closer, a closer jump on this guy and hopefully the free safety drift? Whatever's gonna happen, here's how you expand their coverage. So now we have Jamal Charles in motion. We're gonna run a short in route with the receiver versus man keep running versus zone settle down puts the linebacker in the bind also puts the cornerback in the bind we're just going to sit jamal charles right here he's going to sit there he's going to hold this linebacker eventually you want to you want to work him up the field but you're also taking advantage of the linebacker by sending dexter mccluster right here over the middle on an angle rod. i'm sorry on a uh, dart you can do the dart or you can do an arrow tight end strong side is a checking blitz releasing to the flat and you're also running the receiver up. So now you've expanded their coverage. This linebacker is going to be in the bind. That backer is going to be in the bind. You create a huge window for your in route. And this is your, your safety valve as well as Dexter McCluster here. So once again, the Chiefs can create an opportunity just like the Raiders can in the passing game by expanding their coverage because they also have the weapons to get it done this week versus Oakland. The X Factor for the Raiders will be their offensive line. Stefan Wisniewski is going to miss his second consecutive game, and Andre Garrard will get the start at center versus Kansas City. And they're going to have to communicate throughout the course of this game up front to pick up the different blitzes and stunts that the Chiefs love to bring. The X Factor for the Chiefs will be the spy defender. Now, whether that's one of the inside linebackers, Akeem Jordan or Derek Johnson, or even Eric Berry, the Raiders don't really threaten you vertically down the field, and I believe the Chiefs can man up one-on-one -on -one with their wide receivers, so you can get creative with how you utilize Eric Berry. I would utilize him as that spy defender to keep Terrell Pryor inside the pocket. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ballgame for the Raiders. It's simple. You have to play mistake-free football versus Kansas City. They are a plus 10 in a turnover differential. You have to get off the field defensively. They are a ball control offense. Winning on third down is key. And you have to win two out of the three aspects of the game, whether it be offense and special teams, offense and defense, defense and special teams. However you want to make that combination, you have to win two in order to knock off Kansas City. And for Kansas City, you want to go with more zone coverage rather than man. You don't want to turn your back to a mobile quarterback because he will take off right behind you. And the wide receivers will have to win those individual matchups versus the Raiders cornerbacks. And I would keep Eric Berry on the move. To me, he's the wild card on this football team defensively and could be a huge asset to you trying to slow down what the Raiders want to do offensively. I like Kansas City to win this ball game. I think this game will come down to the one matchup that the Chiefs can definitely win, and that's the Raiders' offensive line versus Kansas City's front seven. That's going to be the key battle that I think will give the Raiders problems, which is why I like Kansas City to win this one at home, and which will be another classic matchup between two old AFC West rivals. I also want to give a huge shout-out to Chief Fan Forums and Raider Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.